2016 election turned polling on its head. Thanks to now President Trump, organizations have to totally rethink their methodology. It also upset the political gambling world with online platforms losing tons of money. What are they doing now to, well, even the odds? Starts with embracing the Trump phenomenon. And here to explain, Patty Power, head of public relations, Lee Price. Lee, it's great to have you here. Thanks for having me. So, obviously, 2016, the odds were not on President Trump. <laughs> that obviously hurt you. As Very the, expensive. As the bookie, if you will. Yeah. Uh, but you've obviously changed your tune, and people are putting their money and betting on this president this time around. Well, the, the people were betting on the first time around. We just chose to ignore it. So, we ended up losing $4.5 million. So, mm -hmm. that ruined the Christmas party that year. This time, he's odds-on, so more likely than not to be re-elected. So, so it's basically, what are the odds of, if, for President Trump to be re-elected? What is the payoff? The payout, I guess. There it is. Four uh, or five. Hundreds of thousands of pounds if he's re-elected, as we expect, which would take us over five million, which is easy to say. So, mm -hmm. uh, every cloud. So, we also had Joe Biden up there on the Democratic side. That could be the more interesting mm. turn. Are you taking bets leading up to the nomination of the Democratic uh, presidential candidate? Yeah, Biden's been the favourite all along, but we have had a move this week on Bernie Sanders. He's now joint favourite with Biden. They're both nine to four. That's around 30% mm -hmm. chance. Uh, Elizabeth Warren is five to one, which is around 16%. And then you've got Bloomberg, of course, interesting mover in the market. That's, well, that's interesting that Bloomberg is 7 to 1. That's better than Pete Buttigieg. But Bloomberg was late to the party. And his, I mean, he had like 45 people at a recent round. Yeah, we have a, a celebrity factor in the UK. If you've heard of this person, you're more likely to bet on them than if you haven't, even if they're a, a real politician. OK. Uh, but last time we said that, it was President Trump. So, you know. You also take bets on some other interesting things. I have to bring this up about <laughs> the outlier candidate in the Democratic Party, and it's Michelle Obama. People are still putting money on Michelle Obama to run for the they Democratic are. ticket. That's fascinating to me. Our biggest loser is Obama, which sounds like a tweet from President Trump, but it's actually just our financial reports. Okay. She's 150 to 1. If she does from nowhere run okay. and be chosen, Christmas is off again this year. Well, that's, that's more rough news, I think, on that screen for Tom Steyer or any closer <laughs> than anybody else. Um, also, you've got some other kind of crazy things that you let people bet on. I have to bring this up. I thought this was fascinating. You said, um, will he reopen Alcatraz? <laughs> the yeah. odds are 12 to 1. That's actually been backed in, so people have actually bet on that. Um, yeah. I'm not sure that's based on, but that was 50 to 1, so around 2% chance. You're now looking at around a 9% chance, realistically, mm -hmm. 0%. And also, Will he paint the White House gold 500 to 1? Yeah, no okay, one's betting so on that. Okay, <laughs> so no one's betting on that one. Um, to, I mean, there's all kinds of things. That they're going to name a Mexican airport after the president, 66 to 1. I mean, these are some wild bets thought, that people are taking, though, Trump, on your platform. He's, his popularity is unprecedented, mm -hmm. excuse the pun, with British punters, and they're just fascinated by this guy. And we have all these tongue-in-cheek markets around him, and, and people buy into it, and that's, that's part of his appeal, I think. Odds that Harry and Meghan get divorced? Uh, odds on within 10 years. Oh, boy. Within 10 years. Sorry. Yeah, I've got to come back on that one. The other big story of the day. <laughs> I'll see you in 10 years, yeah. <laughs> Lee, thank you very much. Nice Good one. to have you here.